<laughs> yeah, 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 I get it. It's perfectly natural for people to want to rebel against anything that their parents were into, their parents supported, or that their parents like. It's just really part of growing up in those awkward teen years. But honestly, at some point, you need to just grow up because rebelling for the sake of rebelling just gets pointless. And when it comes to slamming the world of so-called classic rock music, in the end, it just makes you look ignorant. I mean, really, I'm not saying that you have to worship at the altar of Led Zeppelin or the Rolling Stones, but to attempt the argument that that music is not of great quality and is completely irrelevant to the current music scene? Really? I'm sorry that they're not as indie as the Straight Jacket Lama Brigade or whatever indie house band party you're humping this week, but the reality remains that without the music and efforts of these so-called old people bands, an overwhelming majority of current bands wouldn't even exist. Wearing tight pants and having haircuts that were far from what was acceptable in the mainstream? Yeah, guys like Robert Plant and Jim Morrison were doing that in the late 60s. Playing music in such a way that most people questioned whether there was actually music to it? Yep, the Velvet Underground, Pink Floyd, and even some Beatles music Music took care of that a long time ago. Hell, even artists like Elvis and Jerry Lee Lewis ran into the exact same criticism in their day. And let's not forget that guys like that were getting banned from television and venues all the way back in the 1950s. That's old school badassery for you. Oh, but the vocals are so boring and bland that they put me to sleep whenever I hear them. Yeah, hi, Bonavir, go get me a pillow, please. The riffs, the style, the general state of being when you're a professional musician was all set into place by these giants of what is now called classic rock music. And whether it's that infamous Van Halen tour writer or the stage antics of people like Ozzy and Alice Cooper, without these songs and these artists, music simply would not have progressed to its current state. All across pre-1980s rock and roll, you have the foundations of every single genre that has emerged since. And whether you like it or not, without these artists, everybody from Minor Threat to Pearl Jam to Kanye West to Metallica to Neutral Milk Hotel simply would not have existed. That's not opinion, that's fact and logic. Am I saying that classic rock music is the greatest ever? No, not by any means. But hating on it simply because it's the music that your parents play or bringing a wonderfully empty argument like, it just sucks, all that does is prove how little you understand about music. So honestly, classic rock hater, get over yourself. Oh!